The Golden State has over 279.1 million people visiting each year. From mountainous ski resorts to endless miles of pristine beaches, California literally has it all. There are some places that are obvious like Disney, Universal Studios, the Hollywood Walk of Fame, and so on. So we'll skip over those for this video and focus on towns and cities that span the state. Whether you need a long weekend getaway or have plenty of time to spare, these destinations will not disappoint. The state is huge, so we'll cover as much ground as we can to showcase all the different towns and cities California has to offer. Number one is Coronado Island. Just a 12-minute drive from San Diego, Coronado is a must-see if you plan to visit California. It has some of the most beautiful beaches, perfect for swimming and surfing with year-round gorgeous temperatures. The island has a vibrant culinary scene with, as you'd expect, fresh seafood. Golf enthusiasts can putt away on the Coronado Municipal Golf Course with picturesque ocean views. The historic Hotel del Coronado is a must-see landmark, showcasing stunning Victorian architecture and a rich history dating back to 1888. Fun fact about the island is that several Hollywood movies were filmed here, and L. Frank Baum, writer and creator of The Wizard of Oz, did much of his writing here, calling it his personal Oz. Outdoor enthusiasts can rent bikes, kayaks, or surfboards to fully take advantage of the stunning scenery. There is plenty of nightlife on the island if you want a cocktail or to burn off all the seafood dancing the night away. If you want a quieter evening, then check out a theater production at the iconic Lamb's Players Theater. You never know which future Hollywood star you might see performing. Be sure to stay on the island until sunset, because you can't miss a Pacific sunset. Number two is Big Sur. No trip to California is complete without seeing Big Sur. Begin by exploring the iconic Highway 1, a scenic drive that winds along the rugged coastline, offering breathtaking views of towering cliffs, beaches, and turquoise water. Take a hike in Pfeiffer Big Sur State Park, where you can see the state's famous redwoods, cascading waterfalls, and miles of well-maintained trails for those who want to go on a hike. Point Sur State Historic Park is a must-visit for history buffs, with its famous lighthouse and guided tours that offer insight into the region's maritime heritage. As dusk approaches, don't miss the opportunity to stargaze at Pfeiffer Beach. Known for its purple sands and unobstructed views of the night sky, Big Sur also has a trendy art scene with galleries showcasing the works of talented local artists. Big Sur is home to world-class restaurants that serve up fresh seafood, organic produce, and farm-to-table cuisine. And you don't have to go to Napa to get great California wines, because there are plenty of vineyards to check out at Big Sur. And like Coronado, do not miss the sunset over the ocean. Number three is Eureka. This small town way up in Northern California feels more like Oregon, with its specific Northwest climate, pine trees, and misty weather. The Old Town District has boutique shops, local restaurants, and Victorian architecture. Sequoia Park and Zoo is a must when this far north in the state. Check out a myriad of animal species and explore scenic walking trails amidst towering redwoods. Eureka's waterfront is another highlight, with its quaint marina and boardwalk offering stunning views of Humboldt Bay. Take a boat tour or rent a kayak to explore the bay's diverse ecosystem and spot wildlife, or just to enjoy a night on the water. The Carson Mansion is another must-see, and is often considered one of the most photographed homes in the United States. For a taste of the local culture, visit the Eureka Theater a beautifully restored Art Deco venue that hosts a variety of live performances and screenings. And don't miss the opportunity to visit the Lost Coast or the majestic Fern Canyon in Prairie Creek Redwood State Park. Whether you're interested in history, nature, or simply immersing yourself in the laid-back coastal ambiance, Eureka is the place to be. Number 4 is Lake Tahoe. This goes without saying, and yes, part of it is in Nevada, so they can claim half of this wonder. But for this list, we are only talking California. There are several towns along the lake, both on the north and south shore. 
From Kings Beach in the North Shore or South Lake Tahoe on the South Shore, try one or try them all. Whether you like to ski, swim, or paddleboard, Lake Tahoe is a paradise for the outdoor lover. Adventurous souls can try water skiing or wakeboarding, while those who love to fish can cast their lines in search of the lake's prized trout and salmon. Hiking is a popular pastime in Lake Tahoe, with endless trails that wind through the Sierra Nevada mountains. Be sure to hike to Eagle Falls and check out the cascading water and panoramic vistas. For those who prefer a more leisurely pace, scenic drives around the lake offer stunning views at every turn. In the winter, Lake Tahoe transforms into a winter wonderland, perfect for skiers and snowboarders from around the world. With several world-class ski resorts, including Heavenly, Squaw Valley, and North Star, there are endless opportunities for downhill adventures. Cross-country skiing, snowshoeing, and snowmobiling are also popular winter activities. Away from the slopes, Lake Tahoe has an amazing food scene, with numerous restaurants serving up meals with stunning lake views. The area is also home to several casinos, without having to even cross into Nevada for those wanting to tempt Lady Luck. Be sure to make this part of your California getaway. Number 5 is Santa Cruz. Nestled along the Monterey Bay, this is a small coastal town with plenty to do. Just 40 minutes south of San Jose, you will feel like you've stepped into another world. There are plenty of beaches, including Natural Bridges State Park, where you can see an impressive rock formation and the migration of the monarch butterfly. If nightlight is more your scene, then Santa Cruz will not disappoint. Often referred to as the gateway to San Francisco nightlife, you'll hear a ton of live music by upcoming stars. There are also highly rated dance clubs that will keep you moving all night. From authentic Mexican food to smoothie bowls, it's still California, so don't be shocked by the healthy eateries. There is actually a list of 50 foods you must try in Santa Cruz before you die, rated by the locals themselves. Thanks to UC Santa Cruz, this also has the feel of a college town for the younger traveler looking to spring break somewhere other than Panama City Beach. And if that doesn't entice you, then check out the boardwalk and pop into one of its many boutiques and ice cream shops. Number 6 is San Francisco. Yes, this is an obvious big city, and no, we will not apologize. With all its rough reputation, this is still a place that you should see. From the notorious Alcatraz to Fisherman's Wharf, there really is no place like San Francisco. Children of the 90s have to make a stop at the Painted Ladies to see the famous street where the opening credits were filmed. Crime buffs need to take the ferry to Alcatraz. Though no longer an operational prison, you have to hear the story of the famous three that escaped, their fates still unknown. Head to Chinatown, one of the most iconic Chinatowns in America, for authentic cuisine by the people who helped build the city. No California trip would be complete without seeing the Golden Gate Bridge. Take some good selfies or bike across it. But leave yourself a few days, because fog can easily cover the bridge and ruin the views. If you're a baseball fan, catch a Giants game to feel part of the local scene. Lastly, although there are a million other things to see, take a ride on the famous cable car to get around, and ditch your car. Number 7 is Joshua Tree National Park. You will truly feel like you've stepped into another world. It's a protected area, and national park buffs can get their passports stamped at the visitor center. This is for the rugged traveler as camping is a highlight. You will get uninterrupted view of the stars without all the light pollution of a big city. This is also a great place for rock climbers, as there are dozens of rock formations just waiting to be scaled. As you explore the park, you'll notice a diverse array of flora and fauna, including cacti, desert wildflowers, and elusive desert wildlife, such as bighorn sheep and roadrunners. This is another great win for 90s kids who grew up on Roadrunner and Coyote. And of course, the Joshua Tree itself. See it now, because it's considered endangered. This is a great place to visit if you are doing a road trip, as it is situated between Phoenix and Los Angeles, or Phoenix and San Diego. It's the perfect stopping point as part of a bigger trip. Or if you want a desert experience, there is more than enough to do just in the park. Number 8 is Yosemite National Park. 
Like San Francisco, this goes without saying. This is everything you'd ever want on a nature trip. Granite walls, wildlife, a million photo ops, hiking trails, mountains, and waterfalls. You could spend weeks traversing the park without ever getting bored. Camp or stay in a lodge, or even in more luxurious accommodations. Go whitewater rafting down the Merced River and enjoy a thrill ride down the rapids. Check out Glacier Point, Yosemite Falls, and Tunnel View. There is literally no shortage of scenic photo ops. Check out the ancient and towering sequoia trees. And be sure to drive through Tuolumne, which is a road carved through an old sequoia. Some of those trees are over 3,000 years old. Be aware that summer is the most crowded time, so it is recommended to go in the fall, when you can have more of the park to yourself. And lastly, don't miss a chance to see El Capitan. It's a vertical rock face made famous in the documentary Free Solo, when famous rock climber Alex Hammond climbed the entire cliff without any ropes, harness, or safety equipment. It was an epic climb, and its awesomeness can only be appreciated by seeing it for yourself. Number 9 is Independence. For all you nature-loving history buffs out there, not that Independence doesn't have anything fun to do, it's just that this town is more for the outdoor lovers. This town is the perfect home base for dozens of unique things to do in the area. Nestled in the Owens Valley, surrounded by the beautiful Sierra Nevada mountains, this is a California must-see. First, you need to check out Mount Whitney. It's the tallest mountain in the lower 48 and stands at 14,505 feet tall. It is the most climbed mountain in the Sierras and worth at least hiking on one of its many trails. For something more somber and historical, head into the Mojave to see Manzanar National Historic Site. This is the site of a former Japanese internment camp used during World War II and is a sobering reminder of our nation's history. Head 25 minutes south of Independence to hike Mobius Arch Loop Trailhead. It may not be as impressive as the arches in Utah, but it's pretty stunning. Lastly, don't leave California without seeing some of its spooky ghost towns that sit undisturbed, and a reminder of its former glory during the famous gold rush. Keeler and Cerro Gordo are two really cool ghost towns just 40 minutes from Independence. Before we get to number 10, let's give homage to a few honorable mentions. Of course, Los Angeles and San Diego are must-sees, and were too obvious to even put on this list. But other worthy competitors are Capitola and Carmel, which can be found in our video on secret beach towns only locals know about. Other honorable mentions include Death Valley National Park, Monterey Bay, Catalina Island, and Pacific Grove. And now for number 10, Palm Springs. This desert town has everything you'd want for a weekend getaway. Start by taking the Palm Springs Aerial Tramway, the world's largest, up a mountain and take in the scenic views of the city. There are two restaurants at the top and plenty of hiking. Once you've gotten your bearings, head to Palm Canyon Drive. This main drag has dozens of art galleries, shopping, handcrafted cocktails, food and nightlife. Try international cuisine, California fusion, or just a good hearty burger. Local wine, unique cocktails, and craft beers are all famous here in Palm Springs. The street closes to traffic every Thursday night for the Village Fest, where over 200 vendors arrive to showcase their goods. And of course, more food. Want something a little more romantic or geared towards self-care? Head to one of the many natural hot springs and spas. Palm Springs is, after all, known as California's Spa City. Traveling with kids or just want to cool off? Then head to one of Palm Springs' many water parks and channel your inner adventure as you whip down the many high slides. Or just grab a tube and float down the lazy river. If you are into history or nature, check out one of the many museums, botanical gardens, and even a zoo. 